What's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we're hopping into White Collar episode number 10, season number one, called Vital Signs. Hopefully, it's a good episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episode over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. Episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episode, we had a uh, previous thing. The, the show doesn't do a previously on. From what I remember, we were doing the stuff with the judge that was helping, that we found out had a connection to Fowler, right? And then at the end, we kind of, Fowler had to screw over the judge. Um, they are heavily going the route that Fowler's bad, which probably is true, but I'm still kind of keeping not, I don't know, part of me still believes that maybe not fully bad. Like just maybe there's like a, there's like a, a point beyond just him being bad and there's like money and maybe it is money though. That whole clock was it a clock that it's a clock right is it a clock what is it no it's a music it's a music box so we still have that uh then the ending i remember neil walks up they're at the like the grave thing there's like a fake flower and a bunch of real flowers and he hides it from from peter which i can only assume is from kate right so yeah i think that's everything well key important things we're gonna hop in here every time. Here we go. Yes, I did, and you were wonderful. I'm gonna go again. Watch. Okay, I'm There's watching. There's an accent. Get him. Your granddaughter doesn't look sick. Not today. Samantha was taken off of the donors list. Morning, Neil. Just you walks mind. in. Let myself in. I might. <laughs> he just walks in. Is breakfast? Yeah, we're having breakfast. Yeah. It's a crazy ritual I'm sort of fond of. You want to know? No thoughts of Neil Caffrey. He says it has a free sheriff's badge. Did you get it already? I'll do something. Do you want a bowl with that cereal? Thank you. <laughs> Why are you here? Oh, so funny. I'm here because of June. June owns a house Neil lives in. I know who June is. Her granddaughter needs a kidney, but she was bumped for. Ask you to dinner. You're crazy. Crazy for you. What? Oh, thank you, Mr. Honeycutt. That's fine. You're supposed to be like good at this. How bad? What the hell? Jimmy Berger is an example of what happens when you try running the show on your own. Don't. Hey, Neil. Here's the info on those names you asked me to check out. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard your story yet. Let me see. Huh. They're all members of Doctoral Global Initiative. Arrange this setup in case any of our athletes have any injuries today. The club oh. is on call, but would you mind acting as backup? You're gonna have I'm to, here to help. practice on her. Great. I'll be your first patient. Mm. Is not in my back. Would you mind Damn. Taking a look? No. Okay. I mean, this is all kinds of wrong, but you're undercover. Play the role. Everything appears smooth. Your wife will understand. Hello, hopefully. Fifth vertebra. Feel that? Damn. Oh, that was like the easiest flirt ever. He didn't even have to try him. <laughs> He's like, wait, how far did you go? Yeah, uh, Dr. Tannenbaum, um, Elizabeth was just wondering, does FBI stand for Female Body Inspector? <laughs> Sit down and shut up. I pulled Powell's travel records. He's been flying to India quite a bit. An undercover job I was working, and part of the cover was that I had to talk to another woman. Must have been quite the conversationalist. <laughs> I had a flirt with her. So Neil could get closer to the target. Now I remember why. <laughs> what did you say to her? I said that she looked thirsty. <laughs> it worked. Oh, please tell me there's surveillance video of this. Uh -huh. I gotta see this. <laughs> nice work, Maz. You can quit shaking now. I'm not acting. I hate hospitals. <laughs> now I have what he has. <laughs> oh, she's gonna call anyway. Dr. Westlake, please. 
good files. All right, I'm going. Are we stealing the entire bin? Are we going in grabbing a bunch of files? Like, what's... If you calm him down, understood. And he's not, not he's not not calm. Uh, well, this sucks. This is to help you relax. There's something fun in there, Nurse Ratchet. Right? This is Melissa. Hey, Melissa. Oh, don't do this for your wife. Hello. Dr. Tenenbaum <laughs> from the uh, tennis club. How are you? Actually, I'm going into the office. Is that right? She's going to mention the back row. Compliment her. Tell her that you've never met someone like her. You're intrigued. I've never met <laughs> someone like you before. I'm intrigued. Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss those magic hands of yours. <laughs> Magic hands. <laughs> I was a chiropractor. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but if you're really interested in seeing the clinic today, I can get you a pass. What is that? Hey, Don't security see. tape. You broke the law for him. Let's go. You stole it for me? Yeah, it's a regular Kodak moment. No, this, that's kind of sweet. I mean, both. Oh, my head is killing me. Neil, are you all right? Hey, what about me? There's some dishes that need to be washed, Mr. Magic Hands. <laughs> I, love some more ice. <laughs> I love it. I want her to be more part of the show. She's like, I don't know. I guess she can't really be part of the show beyond what she's doing now. She's not. She can't be part of the cons, really. Nice if we could prove it. Maybe we can. It's a fucked up thing to do, but you know, he's done fucked up things himself, so. Yes. Dr. Powell, can you hear me? Uh, should do the trick. Extra sleeping. Actually, solid plan. Well, I was thinking more along the lines of 30 million. What? 30 million? Are you insane? How much is your life worth to you, Doctor? You're shaking me down. I'm asking a question. Nurse! Hello? He's gonna, he's like a. It's not even inside of you, bro. <laughs> Welcome back to New York, Dr. Paul. <laughs> He's got his little picture badge. That's funny. Episode number 10, Vital Sign. That was a good episode. I liked it. I probably one of my favorite of the 10 we've done. Probably top two, top three, maybe. Um, I have to really think about it, but it's definitely up there. I laughed a lot. It made me like chuckle and I liked it. It made me laugh. 
Uh, the case itself was solid. I thought the case, it, it involving the lady that we live with, who we don't really get to see that often, I think actually that's a pretty cool thing to do. And we kind of used all the major players in it. You know, we had Maz, we had Neil, Peter, we had, um, what's his wife's name again? Elizabeth. We had the major players, and I'm 100% totally cool with it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the pacing worked. We'll kind of break down the episode, kind of go through things. Um, I, the stuff with the girl and him flirting and the, his wife, that, that, that was the best part for me. Um, nothing with Kate this episode, maybe a little bit. Uh, I like that this was really Neil going out of his way to try to find, to get involved with this, right? He wanted to help out uh, the woman. I thought that the way that the cop situation, that was just super odd to me. The cops just let him skate. As soon as you mentioned, oh, it's to save a cop or it's to help a cop out or whatever. Or they're like, oh, well, let's go. Let's help out. They don't even ask questions. Um, Nothing with Fowler either. This was really kind of a one-off. Didn't connect to anything. Uh, we get to the party, like, the whole Neil or like Neil not being the one that she wanted. She wanted Peter because she wants an older gentleman. Uh, I thought the way that the ending, when we literally get this guy and do the whole making him think what's happening, that's the fun stuff. Like the the heist part of it all, right? It's not even a heist, whatever you want to call it. The um, the tricking of it all. I thought that was like the best part. I mean, not the best part. The best part was this awkward, funny stuff here and the stuff with the wife. Even the stuff with Neil, um, when he goes to when he goes to the hospital and gets caught and tries to fax it, and then they inject him with the thing, it was like a sweet moment that Neil and Peter had, where you know they assume Neil is going to go back to jail. He's caught. They got him. He broke in. He's he's going back to jail. I thought the way that he kind of says they, you know, he he trusts Peter and he cares about Peter and all that, and then Peter went and kind of. Stole the tape for him, which is a big no-no. Oh, where is it? The stuff with the magical hands. Right here. This is the part that made me laugh. Where she says... Sure. I've never met someone like you before. I'm intrigued. Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss those magic hands of yours. <laughs> magic hands? <laughs> this is the best part. Um, um, and also her laughing at him flirting was actually kind of fun too. Um, and yeah, like this whole ending, the whole making him think that he was like, I mean, it's messed up, but they, this guy was jackass and he pretty much bad guy. Uh, the way that they made him think he was dying, I thought that was actually kind of solid. And then at the end, they caught him. So I don't know. I thought the episode worked. A lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. You like, you comment, you subscribe. You head to Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episode over if you want them. I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.